Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now for us to take your queries on Auto Selector. Sirish joins us as always. Hi, Sirish. Our first question comes in to us from Rishabh Sen. Rishabh writes in saying he's got a budget of 10 lakh rupees and he wants to buy himself an MPV. His priorities, Sirish, are good quality ride and space for his family of six. Now, he wants to know, is the Tata Aria a good option or should he look at something else? Well, at 10 lakh rupees, you won't get the Aria. The Aria is more like 14 lakh rupees. It's very expensive and for its price, I don't think it's worth the value. If you're looking for an MPV, it is the Innova. Okay, everybody has it, every taxi operator has it, but they have it because the Innova is the best in its segment. I drove one just recently and I was again just so impressed with the Innova. It rides like a car, it handles like a car, the interiors are very nice, the quality is excellent, it gives good fuel efficiency, it has adequate performance, it has very good space inside, it is comfortable. On all fronts, the Innova is the best MPV in our country today. Okay, we've got a biking question now. Jagannath Murthy writes in saying he's owned a Pulsar 180 since 2003 and he now wants a change. He's on the wrong side of 40. His priorities are a good upright seating position, refinement and comfortable suspension rather than outright performance or sporty looks. He shortlisted the Honda Unicorn but is concerned that it's an outdated model and his experiences with Honda service have been below par. Is the Unicorn a good buy or does he have other options that he can look at, Sirish? Well, I would still say the Unicorn is a very good buy in that segment. But if you think the Unicorn looks a bit dated, then go for the Dazzler. It has almost the same identical mechanical package. Honda bikes are extremely reliable, they're extremely fuel efficient, they have adequate performance. But the Dazzler looks modern, it's got a better styling package overall. So I would uh, suggest you look at the Dazzler. If you don't like the styling of the Dazzler, stick with the Unicorn. The Unicorn is still, no, despite being dated, despite being in the market for a very long time, it is still a very, very good bike in that segment. Time now for our final question and this one comes into us from Satpreet. He writes in from Delhi. He wants to buy a diesel sedan. He shortlisted the Renault Fluence, the Chevy Cruze, the Skoda Lora and the Volkswagen Jetta. Which one should he pick, Sirish? Don't pick the Jetta right now because in August there will be an all-new Jetta which is a huge improvement over the current Jetta. I think it will be the pick of that segment. So wait till August. If you cannot wait till August, then it is between the Fluence, the Lora and the Cruise and I would pick the Lora. It has the best rounded package, it's got very good ride and handling, the dynamics are excellent on the car, interiors are very good, it's a great car to drive, good performance. You also get the DSG gearbox which is really superb in that segment. Uh, the Fluence, it's a nice car but the engine doesn't have the performance of either the Cruise or the Lora. Also, the rear seat is very comfortable, it's a good chauffeur driven car, but you don't find too many Renault dealers, do you? So if you have a Renault dealer close to your place, then look at the Fluence. Otherwise, on all other respects, the Lora still makes the most sense in that segment. Well, good luck, Satspreet. With that, it's time for us to wrap up Auto Selector for this week. Remember, if you have a query, we have the answers. So email us, helpdesk at overdrive.co.in. That's our address.